Hello everybody, welcome to the official Loki house tour. Look, we do get sunshine in the UK. There's my house. Let's go and have a look around it. So here we are. This is the front garden. It's like the corner property. Front door, you know, usual thing. It's got a garage. Obviously this is a place I'm renting um, for the, at least the sort of next year while I continue to save to buy a house. Um, so that's the front door, but we're gonna go around the side first. Weirdly, garden-wise, decent size, we have this bit of garden, which is my garden, but is separate and open uh, from the rest of the garden. <laughs> you can't get to it. So at some point, uh, if I talk to the landlord, I might gate this off and take down one of those fences. That's the oil tank. Um, for the heating and stuff and there's a bird feeder I put up so if we just walk through the gate we've got bins hang on shut the gate because I'll forget otherwise the dogs will escape so this is the door to the garage it's uh it's pretty shameful um there is the so this house was built in I think in the 70s um and this is the original boiler it's a beast and this is my cardboard warehouse currently. This is from moving in. This is all the, <laughs> so much cardboard. That's my mower, but there was already a mower here as well. Um, so yeah, but decent storage area. I don't think there's actually any electricity in here, but it'll do for storage. And then out into the main back garden. So it's a slightly sloped lawn, but it's nice enough. Um, that's my next door neighbour Mary, she's lovely, we're going to put, she's got a small dog, so where that white fence is, we're going to put up a little privacy fence so the dogs don't bark at each other all the time, but we've got a nice big patio. Did discover one small detail, I was like, why is this bit of the patio a different colour? And then I noticed that that is where the water for the washing machine comes out, empties out, <laughs> so it's kind of, it's kind of cleaned the patio beyond all recognition. Um, but yeah, there's the house. It's got some nice lights to come on. Got a hose. But yeah, it's a pretty decent size. Nicely mature, got lots of bushes and stuff. Do love a good bush. And then we go into the side door. This is the kitchen area. Don't know, don't know who these lot are. This is the kitchen area. Um, it's like a little galley kitchen. Um, this is the cooker that was in. Um, and the fridge that was in, but I'm not using that because it's old and yucky. Um, cooker's pretty basic. Decent amount of storage. Um, so I bought the microwave and the and the coffee machine and a cheap fridge freezer. Um, that's currently my recycling. Yes, I do like Jaffa cakes. Um, so the theme, the colours I was going for, with all, because literally I had to buy everything, was a grey and okra, or as people in my Twitch chat like to call it, piss yellow. Um, but if your piss is that colour, then see a doctor. So, lovely big window. And then we've got my face. So this, the kettle and the toaster was, I found first, and that dictated the whole colour scheme. Um, because I loved it so much. Um, that's a new washing machine that was put in by the landlord, which is great. But literally everything in the house, everything else in the house I bought. Got a bit of Joseph Joseph stuff for those that are in the know. Um, and then we have this, which is probably an old boiler cupboard, but it's now a larder. As you can see, beans, bovril. <laughs> all good, all the, all the important things. Now, I'll take you through to the lounge area. So, these are the new curtains I had put in place and the big rugs. So the carpet was here and it's relatively new. So I wanted, because of the dogs, I wanted to get new rugs. They're still settling down. Um, but new rugs and there's a bed in the corner here. But this is where the magic happens, not the bedroom, the other magic. Um, this is my desk setup. There's my beastly PC with matching yellow RGB. And this is my desk. Um, still sort of getting it set up and ha putting it sort of just the way I like it and stuff. Um, these are the lights. I've covered that one with a paper towel just to dim it a little bit. So that's definitely not a fire hazard. So this is one half of the lounge. As you can see, it opens up. Who's that? Oh, it's a Loki, it's a wild Loki. And then this is the 
other side of the lounge. We've got a fireplace. Um, we've got a picture to just just remind myself that Liverpool were good that my nephew bought me. <laughs> um, we've got a dog crate. Got the toy box, new telly and cabinet and stuff, new bed, new sofa. But very comfortable. I like the chaise long type sofas and stuff. So yeah, so really, and there's some artwork on the wall. Um, these are the disc plates that I had. So on the other side, we've got my uh, gaming stuff. And then, yeah, so really nice big lounge. So it's sort of nicely separated into two sections, which is perfect. And then we come into the main hall. Still a bit of mess, still sort of unloading. That's the front door with a little porch area. Um, we have a just a little thin closet here for jackets and stuff. And then we mosey our way on up the stairs. The landlord did offer to put in a brand new carpet in the hall upstairs, downstairs, and the stairs, because it's a it's a bit worn and it's a bit it's just greeny, motley green colour. But I was like, no, no, it's fine. You know, I don't spend a lot of time in the hall, so, you know, that's fine. But also, we got dogs, so I'm happy to have a bit of a worn carpet. He can replace it when I leave. So, this is the main bedroom. As you can see, there is no furniture in here at the moment, just the stuff I bought with me, because we want to actually go to the shop and buy furniture. But none of the shops are open until the next month, so just going to living out of these little plastic ones for the time being. Each room has a built-in wardrobe. This is my super king-size bed. Oh, Jürgen, what are you doing here? Naughty boy. Um, king, super king-size bed because, well, I'm big and I'm fat and I've got three dogs. So we need space, you know. Um, the views are pretty spectacular out of my bedroom window. So as you can hear, it's a very quiet place. It's a really nice quiet. It's on the edge of uh, Derry in Northern Ireland, up, up in the... Northwest, so into the rest of the hall. It's a four bedroom place, um, which I don't need at all, but I'll find a use of some. This is just a small single room. Again, built in cupboards. This is the previous occupants painted it pink, which the landlord is not happy with. <laughs> um, but he's got his mate coming in to repaint this and stuff. But at the moment it's the pink room with the pink office chair in it that I bought my girlfriend, Emma. As her birthday gift for when she can when she wants to sit at my desk. I think it goes well in this room. What do you think, Legs? Yeah, Ollie? No? Frey? What do you think? Oh, I'm not sure that's allowed, Loki. I've got to be honest. Um, not sure if that's allowed. Again, um, I think this one's a is this one a double? Yeah. They're pretty big, uh, pretty big wardrobe spaces. So that's the sort of three bedrooms. And then the final is another single, which is my drying room <laughs> and storage. So all these boxes and stuff are things I need to keep, like my computer box and the TV box and the monitors boxes. Um, my dressing up box, which I, you know, I never thought I'd ever need a dressing up box, but here we go. That's life now. Look, my crown on my green screen and my Warhammer stuff that I kind of want to get back into. I'm getting that bit. And in there is about 100 mugs in those three boxes, which will be sold at one point. And then this bathroom is pretty small and basic, but it, you know, you can poo and clean yourself. So it does the job. Excuse the echoes. Um, pretty simple setup. I'm not a massive fan of the soak, relax, enjoy bit. Um, but we have electric shower, a decent bath, all that sort of good stuff. So, yeah, like, it's a pretty good place. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, for those wondering, um, I don't know what the conversion to the currency of your choice is, but I pay £700 a month for this. Um, it's one of the sort of, one of the reasons that I'm still in Northern Ireland because um, it's just so much. It's just so much cheaper. That, this sort of house anywhere near my mum in Bournemouth would be fifteen hundred, two grand a month. Like as you can see, it's detached. It's five minutes walk. We've got the river and a massive playing field and stuff like that. So uh, um, yeah, really, really happy with it. Like I said, we've, I've got this place for a minimum of a year, and then 
will work out if I need more time or I will start to look to, to, to buy a place. And I think my favorite room of the house is definitely this one. I think it's just, oh, there's my sloth. Hi, right, mate, how's it going? I think this, this, this bit is just perfect. It's a good size. It's got a sort of slight separation. This was probably at one point, two rooms with the dining room separate. Really, really happy. Absolutely loving it here. It was a great choice. A nice rug as well to, to, to carry through the gray theme. Um, yeah, really, really happy. So there is my house tour. If you have any questions, um, please do leave it in the comments below. Uh, it's yeah, I'm really excited. It's it's been it's been nice and it's been really really fun buying all the stuff. Although it costs a lot of money, most of nearly all of this stuff is going to be taken into the new house and everything. So um, really really pleased with it. Oh, little teaser for today's video. Well, this will be like yesterday's video, but little. Ooh, ooh. So there we go. Welcome to my abode. Really delighted with it. The dogs love it. They're settling in really well. Um, Loki, who's quite highly strung and gets a bit stressed, he says as he yawns, um, is really enjoyed it. He's he's relaxed. Um, he likes the garden. We took him out for a big long walk yesterday, and he absolutely loved it. Uh, Freya and Ollie are just chill. They just settle in anyway. Yeah, group shot. Stay there, really. Oh, look at that. There you go. Beautiful. But yeah, really happy with it. I'm trying to keep on top of the hoovering. Because, you know, dog hair. Loki, dog hair. Ollie, dog hair. So much dog hair. But we're keeping on top of it. I'm not going to use the fireplace. It's quite small. Probably hasn't been cleaned out for years. And I don't really need it. So, um, But yeah, very happy. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is my home for the next year or two. Um, very happy with it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I don't know how you found this video, but do let me know if you did. And um, subscribe for more stuff. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.